Hey there, my name is Dimitri and welcome back to another video here at Bardeen. In this video, we're gonna dive into Builder 2.0. It's a brand new building experience that is going to absolutely change the way that you build different playbooks and autobooks using Bardeen. So here's a quick refresher on what playbooks and autobooks actually are. Playbooks are actions that are taken in a row. So essentially when you set up a playbook using Bardeen, when you press the playbook, it will do something. It'll take a couple different actions that you've set up and it will do it for you. This can be things like getting the conference speakers on a web page or getting a list of people from a sheet and then adding it to Salesforce. Autobooks are almost the same thing. The only difference is they don't run on you pressing it. They run on a certain interval of time or when something has been retrieved. So for example, you receive an email, it automatically runs some steps. This AI agent is exactly what you'd be looking for in a incoming data, actions they need to be taken sort of style of work, whereas Playbook Books are something you're going to be manually doing yourself, but you're still going to be saving a lot of time because all those different steps inside of it are utilized. To the best of my ability, I am going to show you how to set up these playbooks and autobooks very easily using our new builder. Let's dive right into it. So if you press create automation, you'll see here that it's really simple. 90% of the things that you wanna build, playbooks, autobooks, can be done by just typing within here. So let's try some examples out for you. So first one's gonna be when I receive the email invoices that I usually get for them to accountant at Bardeen. AI. So after I press try it out, you'll see that it says building for you. And that's because our AI playbook creator and autobook creator will be doing stuff like this. So with the AI we have built in, it very easily made this autobook. And I can test this out. You'll see that it previews the last five emails that I had. And that's the max you can get in the preview. But none of them had the subject invoice in there. But if it did, it would send out an email to accountant at bardeen.ai. I do not need to edit this at all. So I can just press save and it'll go to my auto books. But what I also can do is I can press create automation again. And I'm going to show you another one that is really cool. So let's do get list of people from sheet to add to Salesforce if they're not there already and enrich. So if I press try this out, you'll see this is a pretty advanced long prompt and it's going to build this out pretty flawlessly for me. All right, look at this. So we're going to have that entire prompt work flawlessly here. So get the table from the specified Google Sheet, get the list of contacts from Salesforce, and if the list of Salesforce contacts does not contain the name of the person from Google Sheet, then it will get the person's data from their email address and add the person to Salesforce. This enrichment step is really cool. One of the great specific steps that we have with Bardeen that I definitely recommend you try out. And anytime we do test these out, as I showed previously, that five cap does prevent it from being too slow when it's doing a test. And some of these will actually cost you credit. So just be on the lookout for that. Uh, it is very important that you note that max amount of items is actually best for you because we don't want to overdo the amount of items that it'd be pulling from in just a test. You can actually, besides testing the entirety of it at the top here, you can press run test specifically right here too. So I've shown creating two automations. Let's actually run one and then show what it's like to edit an automation after you create it. So this is a really cool step-by-step -step as well of what our new automation builder can do. So if I type out get conference speakers from the web page, it'll build a playbook for me. And I actually can do something pretty cool. Well, I obviously could save this, you know, as, as I normally do and run it. I could actually go back into that specific playbook and edit it using AI too. So going back in to the Bardeen editor. So now what I can do is I can modify this with AI. So I can type something like find contact info, then save to Google Sheet, and it will actually update the playbook rather than me needing to do it manually. Just a simple prompt will make all the adjustments I need. This is awesome. And now I'm gonna go to the speakers page and do exactly that. When I press the playbook, all it's going to do is go through 
all of these different sub pages inside of this speaker's web page and get all that contact information from every single one by running on its own. It is smart, it is fast, and it's gonna save me all the time of manually grabbing all of these people's names and information. At the end of the entire process, which is really cool, is it actually gets me to add these to a Google Sheet with minimal effort. Imagine all the time that it would take for me to have actually gone through all of this scrolling and clicking and putting it into a Google Sheet. It would have taken, I'd say, close to an hour and that took barely any time at all. Look at all that data that was captured. That is crazy awesome. And if you wanted to, you could do more than just modify it with AI. I think it's really cool. You see the history. You can actually go back and forth between the two. Um, you can undo or redo different steps. But if you are an expert and you want that extra layer of editability, you can add extra steps manually. You can make changes to the customization fields here. So what, what are we really adding here? Like what specific Google sheet are we going to? Is it gonna be ask me every time? Is it gonna be an existing sheet that I have, like contacts that I need? Uh, all these different, like a CRM, for example. Are we going to add maybe something specific like a filter or just the next step like for example i could email uh, somebody saying a specific message so send an email to a certain recipient or ask me every time with the subject and body i could have it ask me every time too or get it from previous actions what i essentially want to do here is to utilize what my thought process would be that couldn't necessarily be added to the AI edits. Well, they are pretty smart. There are advanced users who just wanna make some extra updates. And I recommend that you do your best to look through all the different products and features that we have here to understand how you can manually make adjustments if you want or use the AI capabilities as they are. So I could say, for example, the subject would be new contacts for outreach and then just say, hey, team, we're looking to reach out to these new contacts. Please set aside some time to make that happen. Thank you. And then we'll press save here and we'll do it as a manual playbook and save playbook and you're good to go. Everything within this system is much improved from before. And it's all with everything in our Bardeen Builder is catered towards speed, functionality, and easy creation and revisions. So if you're looking for a better experience for building out your playbooks and autobooks, it's here. But that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Hit that like button, subscribe, and make sure to try out Bardeen today using the link in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.